Albert Einstein said, if you can't explain it to a six-year-old, then you don't understand it yourself. And while he wasn't talking about brand messaging and website copy, boy, do we tend to overcomplicate things there. In today's video, I'm talking you through the four pages that you definitely have to have on your small business's website. By the end of this video, you'll know a quick outline and be ramped up to wireframe out and get ready to write the copy for those pages. Let's go. Hey there, if we haven't met, my name is Ashlyn Carter. I'm a conversion copywriter, brand and launch strategist for creative entrepreneurs like you. And between the agency side of my business and teaching this stuff, I look at a lot of websites, like a whole lot. And since I primarily work with creatives and visually prone artists, it merits being said, and I'm gonna go ahead and say it, please don't throw tomatoes at me, but no, your art does not speak for itself. Even though I know it is stunning and beautiful, we have to lean on tools like conversion copy that I'm gonna talk about in this video to make sure we pull those customers and clients over the finish line and actually help them make a buying decision and purchase. Hit that like button if you have ever learned in this business lesson before, and while you're down there, click the subscribe button and the bell next to it. I pump out videos just like this every single week and that's how you're gonna be in the loop to know when the next one drops. So again, visuals matter greatly. We're gonna talk about that in this video, but it's that conversion copy and then the basic sales funnel that I'll be talking through in this video that does things like warm people up for your price point and make them and coach them along in the process to be willing to pay that. It helps them start to understand and process why they may need certain add-ons or upgrades and so many other things. So page number one, and we're actually gonna work backwards in this sales funnel of sorts. We're gonna start with your contact page. This essentially functions as the help desk and hub for your customers or clients. I would say that a majority of the contact pages that I see from clients and students are a little bit more focused on pure function and they lack some of that style and inspiration that's really needed to help come along and support these customers and clients. If you think about it, a checkout page meets a customer or a prospect at the most vulnerable point in the whole process, the moment where they have that credit card out and they're getting ready to enter in the digits and like really make this decision, your contact page functions very, very similarly. They're reaching out, they don't wanna ask a dumb question, they're hoping they have what it takes to be able to work with you or pitch you for whatever, or they may be frustrated and want to express something. We just need to think about this as we're outlining and writing the copy for your contact page. Yes, it needs some of that function, but we can't forget the psychology of well, where are our reader is at in the whole process. Okay, so the meat and potatoes of this page. Obviously, a form is so great. Use whatever tools uh, you use for your business here. As much as I love a tool like a HoneyBook form, I will say I don't think this is the best place for it, and here's why. So many people create the form on their website and then, again, just leave it bare bones like that on a contact page, and it presupposes that I definitely want to work with you, but I may be reaching out for you for a myriad of different things, not just because I want to use your services. And if your form funnels directly into your pipeline and essentially functions as an application, that may just be jumping the gun. Do you see what I'm saying? Instead, I would see how you can zoom out and create a form that is either helpful for people reaching out to you for many different reasons or option number two, which is what I would primarily recommend. I would definitely say have your email address listed very clearly in case they don't want to fill out the form, have a mailing address there, and then a phone number as well, even if it is a Google Voice phone number. My number one pet peeve on contact pages is when I cannot find an email address anywhere. I remember back when I worked in public relations, I would not pitch a brand or include them or reach out to that person if I couldn't get in touch with them or if the only way to get in touch with them was from a form to try to to work with them. I just needed a quote for a story or something like that. So definitely take that as a word of wisdom and put your email address on that page. It needs to be very clear and easy to find. In addition to those four things, I would also include any types of social media places where I can contact you there or at least get to know you a little bit more. And then possibly include a frequently asked questions section because this could save people an email along the way. Like I said, back at the beginning of this, this page is ultimately kind of functioning as a help hub for your small business. Last idea I have for you here is to include some sort of bar to get into your email list, your newsletter. I know you've got your freebies and your pop-ups and that kind of thing, but I was on New York City Ballet's website last week and I was just trying to sign up for their newsletter. It seems like a very simple task, 
but I could not find it. I was clicking everywhere just to try. I just wanted the news. I just wanted the weekly newsletter in the scoop. And so don't make that harder on people than it is. I think this is a great thing to also include on your contact page. Come on, City Ballet. Number two, backing up in that sales funnel, let's go to your sales or your services page. I know I talk about these pages all the time. When I left my corporate job, started my business, and had under one umbrella a calligraphy side of writing and a copywriting side, on the copywriting side, I was finding myself learning how and really light writing lots and lots of long form sales letters. At the same time, I was peddling my services as a wedding stationer and calligrapher. Over time, I started to realize why wasn't I using little tricks that I knew about writing a long form sales page and pulling them into my services page for my calligraphy work? I started playing with it bit by bit, found a formula that worked and boom, the sweet 16 sales or services page template was born. This is a list of 16 things, some of them are very short, that you absolutely need on a sales page or a services page, especially if the service is high end or expensive. So yes, I would say you still need these if you're selling photography services, design services, coaching calls. Now I don't have time to go into all 16, but I will link a video I did where I cover the basic format, the first five things of this. It's called my P-A-R-I-S framework, and you can look below to grab the link. Essentially, you need to start this page off with the copy framework, talking about either the problem or what that reader or user is pining for, what they really want. The next thing you need to do is either agitate that problem or amplify that dream that they have. Then you'll give me a quick line where you remind them of what they really want before I, I want you to give me a point of interest, either a factoid, a stat, some sort of data point that helps solidify to the rational side of their brain why this already makes sense. We've worked with the emotion on that first part, now we're gonna bring in the rational side. And then the S is actually your solution. Then we're finally gonna get into this service or offering that you have. Like I said, the video that goes more into that is below. Don't forget as you build this page and all the other pages of your website that design is the first thing that people see. In fact, 38% of people will leave if they don't like the design. I started this video out talking about simplicity and I'll say it again here. Simplicity is key. That is a huge trust factor for people. They are bombarded all day with so many different marketing messages and confusing information. So when they get to your website and any page inside this little funnel that we're working through, it needs to be so easy and clear and simple. That doesn't necessarily correlate to short. It can be long, but it has to be simple. Comment below if you've ever gotten on a website page and then left because it was either complicated or distracting or there was so much going on and confusing that just analysis paralysis happened and you wanted to peace out. Simplicity in design, build trust and copy sell the product or service. Page number three, your about page. So again, we're backing up that funnel and the next page is the about page. Even if you pump out a ton of content and blog content, I would reckon that your about page falls somewhere in the top 10 most trafficked pages of your website. Based off going backwards in this little sales funnel, we can now see that we want the goal of your about page to be to push into that sales or services page, or at least help them understand the different service options that they do have. In a study conducted by Co-Marketing, they asked this question. Once you're on the homepage, what information would you like to see available next? And 52% of responders said they want the about page or some sort of page on the company's information. Now, what to write here? We've probably heard before that your about page isn't about you and eh, kind of is. At least it's about your relationship with the reader. It tells your story, but in a way that they can see themselves in. It connects your clients, builds your brand, and attracts and repels. This website about page from uh, Kieran, who is one of our students inside Copywriting for Creatives, and I just think she's done such an incredible job, and she wrote all this copy herself, and um, I was so honored to get to copy chief it all through the program, but I just, it is an incredible example um, of how this page is about her, but it's more about her ideal client. It shares bits of her story uh, in a fun and engaging way. We get to see little bits of her personality, um, even get to listen to what she's listening to on Spotify right now. But then she gets down into the point of us being on this page, which is learning how she works. And she's going to drive us to one of her um, call to actions here. And then right here, she's going to give us a little bit more with some call to actions. And then a heavier one down here at the bottom, driving straight to her services and process page. 
I'm not trying to push you off on all these different videos, but I do have a video where I dive into my ART IST about page framework so you can understand the copy and the messaging hierarchy here. I will also link that video down below. And finally, number four, your homepage. Duh, this is the entry page to your whole website. Now this page, this top of funnel page in your website is so very important because while we're spending so much time on social media and email marketing and ads and all those fun, sexy marketing tools that are out there, at the end of the day, if the thing at the bottom, the engine that's got it all running is not working as best as it can, why are we spending so much time on all of the other things? I've said it many times, home pages are definitely the hardest to write. At least I find that in the agency side of my business. Half for years, I've heard other copywriters say that, and it's simply because the myriad of different types of prospects that are landing on this page run the gamut. You've got people that are really far along in their customer journey. You've got people that uh, are kind of on the fence. So all of those types need to feel included and spoken to on this page at some point. Got a lot of splain than to do. Now I do also have a video where I talk through how to outline and write this page, which I'll link down below. But if you're realizing right now, holy cow, I have so much to write and so many different pieces of copy in my business to make sure are firing on all cylinders. I would love to invite you into my free masterclass. All you need to do is go to awcopyclass.com. I'm giving away my secrets on how to write personality packed copy for your website and beyond. And I'd love to see you there. Now you know the four pages that you need to have on your website to make sure it's doing its job. But what about actually writing the copy for that? Well, like I said, I would love to see you in the masterclass, but I'm also teeing up a video for you next where I jump into six quick copywriting exercises that you can do this week. If you liked this video, let me know by hitting the like button, subscribe and comment below with what your biggest takeaway was. As always, thanks so much for watching.